What up guys, welcome to another video by Andrew and this today's tutorial video is going to show for the new gamers, if you are new uh, WWE gamers, welcome to WWE, WWE 14, that's 2K14. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you, if you're new, how to create your own superstar threads. Now this was probably one of the best additions that was introduced into SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. It was introduced in 2012. So it was probably one of the best additions and in this video I'm going to just show you how to create a superstar thread, how it works and I'm going to choose Dolph Ziggler for example. Now with Dolph I'm going to, I found two pictures of Dolph Ziggler and I'm going to try and show you how to do a superstar thread but I'm going to try and make it like how he, like the clothes he wore back in rea in reality this year. So first of all you have superstar threads alters, you have slot number one, slot number two, slot number three and you can edit and delete. So as you can see I've clicked on slot one now I'm in ring. So you have t-shirt, you can change the color of the t-shirt and the design one, design two, design three. So what we're gonna do is demonstrate. Now you can press L1 and R1. Now as you can see I pressed R1 and I've gone and I'm now gonna customize the entrance gear. So what I'm gonna do is give it a light orange because earlier in the year he did wear this uh, kind of light orangey um, top. Kind of this color he wore. So I'm gonna change the color so you can uh, you have some options. Previous color which is the color that it was used originally. The sample colors you can mix about and then history. So if you ever come back to the uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler, creating Dolph Ziggler or another wrestler and you want to use the same color you can just look at the history. Shades is if you want to make it a darker by reducing it or if you the more higher it goes 255 it's very light and as you can see I'm trying to make it like the real one you can see a picture on the top on the screen at the same time what I'm trying to make it look like. Uh, Superstar Threads is probably the best thing ever introduced everyone has been asking for it and to the WWE 12 you could do that 13 you could do that and now this game is even better but what's better now is now you can customize as wrestlers a superstar or a divas entrance gear and you don't have to and the good thing is when you do it's it's together so even when back in in w13 and 12 you had to do it two separate saves well this one it's joint now so you can design his intro his entrance and then when you go back and you want to play the match you'll see him come with the new colors you put on his entrance gear but when the match starts it's like how it is in real life he takes the top the vest off and now he's back and he's in his ring gear so as you can see what I've done now is I've designed everything by t-shirt uh, the design one on the shirt design two design three and he does so if you think this looks like the picture you can see on the right hand side give it a thumbs up and comment but for new users to WWE 12 sorry WWE 14 this is superstar threads this is how you create, this is how you customize a superstar thread and how you can create them. Remember, you have three slots. I was hoping that they would give you six more slots. So it would be much more better because uh, a lot of people love this. Then you can create about six or ten and you wouldn't have to always delete one that you like the most. Hopefully in the next game, which is number 15, that they will do that. If, if you know, if they ever get a chance to read our reviews and comments. That's one thing they should do, but I've super for me superstar threads. It's what I love the most in this in the last two wrestling games. Customization is what this game is all about. So as you can see here, um, I have a choice by going to history or to choose the color or um, a sample color or the original. So I just uh, went on the sample colors and I changed it a bit. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm just going to change the trunks design one. So you can do anything you want in Superstar Threads. This is why it's the best. And now they fixed it. So even for John Cena, um, when you you know back in the WWE 12 and 13, when you do John Cena, I noticed that you can change his top green, uh, top from green to red, but his hat will still be green. And when you do entrances, he'll come with a red shirt but a green hat. Well, now they fixed it, and they've really done a very good job. Undertaker, you can change his in his entrance gear. It's brilliant. A CM Punk hoodie, you can change it to a grey hoodie he had back. So you can do a lot of things, which is Superstar Threads is pretty much, I think, one of the best already now, and it's com. Is it really the? Has it really earned its right as complete? No. If they put about ten slots, then it's complete. There's nothing more. What one thing Superstar Threads should allow you to do is. To change, for example, say if you down if you created a, a new shirt that John Cena has, but the game doesn't have it, you should be able to add 
shirts or trousers to your to an original superstar. That's the next thing they should do. If they do that, then that's it. Superstar mode is fantastic. Superstar, superstar thread mode, threads mode is fantastic. Now, as you can see here, we have slot one, which is light orange. And don't worry if you can't see the entrance gear. Don't worry, you can always check on it by clicking and going to edit, or just play the match, and you will see the entrance gear. But now I have two slots remaining, and there's another, another example. I'm going to show you how to do it again. So. Click on slot two. Notice that when you click back, you can edit, copy, delete. That's your three things that you can do to slot one. But I'm going to go to slot two and create a new one. So I go to new and I click R1 to go to the entrance. And now that I've done that, I'm going to change the t-shirt. Now he also, with AJ Lee, he, his west color was pink and the right tin was blue. So I'm going to do that by going to sample colors and uh, just go for a light pink but remember in history I had it there so I can just choose my history bang now all I need is a blue color lightest blue so you can go to dark blue and remember the shades I'm gonna increase it a bit to 255 255 move the color picker a bit down okay that's perfect you can always compare it to the picture on the right hand side top of the screen uh, video if you can have a look at it and design 2 I'm gonna change everything design 2 is actually when he had the pink shirt in the uh, in early in the year with AJ Lee, it was actually it didn't have the black lines, so I'm gonna leave it black. It was just uh, white uh, around the back, so I'm just gonna change it. But there you go, and that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna show you, and once you do that, if you're happy, accept it. If you want to change the in ring gear, you can press L1 and it goes back to his in ring gear. But this is what I mean here. Now, in the picture that I show you on the right, notice that he doesn't have the black lines. This is a new addition to it. So, anyway, it's still brilliant. I think it's still brilliant. And I'm not going to make too fuss. I'm very happy. They just need to allow you to edit your Superstars codes, etc. And next time, put more slots. Instead of three, let's go for six. What the hell? Let's just go for ten. Put ten slots. Fantastic. I think all you guys. But otherwise, I love Superstar Threads most. Literally, I go ham on the YouTube videos. And I'm going to take much more priority now so you guys like the Super Saw Threads video. So I'm going to take my time. As you can see, now I have two Super Saw Threads done. One's light orange, which is in slot one. And in slot two, it's a pink version. Now, you're going to show you. Now, two, now I'm going to show you that in this video, what it will look like. Now, how to access your Super Saw Threads? Well, for the new guys, this is how you do it. Now, when you go to Super Saw Selection, which you will see in a few minutes few seconds sorry now I'm gonna be player one uh, I'm gonna choose Dolph Ziggler because he's the guy that I made two custom superstar threads so when I choose Dolph uh, I'm just gonna look for him now as you can see here when you click on Dolph you have two sections alter and finishes I wanna go on the right left hand side and use the R1 button so when I click on the R1 button it will display to me the two created superstar threads one's light orange one's pink and random random means it will select either the original one or your two custom ones so I'm gonna go for the light orange click ready I'm gonna choose an opponent let's say Dean Ambrose and in the next and in the same video you will see Dolph Ziggler's custom superstar threads that I created and the new one that I created well I hope you enjoyed this video please rate and subscribe and as always have a nice day